Howdy folks, welcome back to the Kapaku server. You may see that we are shader free at the moment because um, I'm going to do some shader tests. I've picked out some different shaders and I want to give it a try because we all know that I love my shaders, but the problem is that I can't see anything and there are just some things I want to do that require more visibility and a voice that I'm having a hard time with here. So we are going we are going to light up this ravine in its entirety so that nothing will spawn on us. Whoa. At least that's the plan anyway. I got a bunch of torches with me. I want to light this place up and then we're going to do a shader test. So let me get going with the lighting thing here. And then we'll talk shaders. Oh, we have a witch. Let's see, what can we do with her? Will that work? Hey. Nice. She's wondering where that came from. That's where it came from. Alright, I got that side done. Now I have to do the other side. I'll just make sure nothing is spawnable, and I'll show you why in a moment here. Alright, let me get going on this side. Alright, so we should have an unspawnable ravine everywhere I look here should be good to go so what I want to do without falling is I want to um, try some different shaders and see how it looks so we know what it looks like here all lit up you can see everything piece of cake no problem right everything looks fine I'm running Optifine so dynamic lighting works now it's dark on top as it should be, and we can see everything. So let's now throw on the Seiyu shaders that I have been using. So here we are with the Seiyu shaders on Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, and it looks amazing and beautiful, and it looks like a cave. It looks like the ravine. It is nice and dark, but we can't see anything. If I didn't have this lit up with all the torches, and then if I didn't go through in vanilla, for lack of a better term, to light everything up properly, you would not know this is lit up properly. It'd be very dark, hard to see, but it looks beautiful. So now I wanted to try Silder's shaders and see if that made any difference. So here we have Silder's basic shaders. Basic shaders. Without color boost, it gives just a little more 3D-ish to the shadows and everything. So I'm gonna keep it just like this. And then we are going to go to the same scene with a straight cut, not a blended cut, but a straight cut to vanilla. And let's see what the difference is. And here we have vanilla. So not much of a difference, but subtle enough. So now that we've seen in this ravine, I want to go outside and see what it looks like there without falling, falling off my little platform here. So let's go outside and see what that looks like. So here we have Vanilla, no shaders at all. And um, it's daytime, it's morning actually, like early morning. I'm mean, look, oh there's a skeleton over there. Hopefully he doesn't come over here doing my little test. I guess he'll burn up if he does. Um, but let's turn on the Silder shaders and see what we get here. And here we have the Silder shaders without color boost. Um, I know it's a little bit of difference. For example, if you're looking at like, I'll show you here. Down here on the ground, see the shadow there on the ground, nice and subtle. And the skeleton's gone. And what do we have? We have the waving grass and the waving trees, of course. And we have some shadows here. Otherwise, it pretty much looks like vanilla with a little flavor on there. But let's do the color boost and we'll see what that does. Big difference with the color boost. I think I like it with the color boost. I'm not sure. I'll actually have to run through my video myself and decide which ones I like best. Hmm. I don't know what you think of that color boost. But let's go back to Seus and you'll see. My all-time favorite, even if it's not always practical. Let's have a look at that. And here is 
what I like. I love this so much, but like I said, oh, we have the double clouds going. But like I said before, it's not practical for everything I want to do. Just ignore those clouds for a moment. Let's not worry about those. I mean, it looks beautiful, looks wonderful, looks great. It looks more adult-like, I guess, than Minecraft, although there's nothing wrong with default Minecraft. But, if you look up here like this, you can't really see what's going on at all. It's so dark, even during the day. It just makes you, makes it difficult. Like, for example, that jungle in the middle of the day, I just couldn't navigate that jungle. It was too dark. And, um, it looks beautiful, but it's just too much. But the Silder Shaders brings it back to vanilla and gives you the wavy grass and a little bit of shadowing. Now, I know there are different levels of the Silder Shaders, but then you end up like this again. Pretty much the same thing, both color burst, basically. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Silder Shaders without the color boost for now. And there's a little bit of gameplay I want to do yet today. So let's um, let's change our shaders back and let's actually head upstairs and there's some things I want to make with my diamonds from last time and I'll meet you up there. So here we are back upstairs and um, I wanted to do some tests at night too. I kind of forgot about that, but um, we'll be able to catch that in a little bit. But what I want to show you with the shading, see, just enough shading on the edges of the block, but we can actually see now, we can actually see what's going on in that forest. As pretty as it is to see the dark forest it just makes gameplay so, so much more difficult. And I can see now that I'm over torched up there. That's funny. All right, so let's see. I used my silk touch for this because I wanted to use a fortune pickaxe another time to make more out of that. So let's, um, what I was gonna do, let's take our diamonds here. And I wanted to make another diamond pickaxe that will save until we're able to get fortune on it. Because this one's Silk Touch. Can't have fortune and Silk Touch. Obviously, they're not compatible. I also wanted to make some type of armor. My first diamond armor. So I was thinking we would just do leggings. I get, whoop. Just leggings, I guess. Just so we have something on us. That's diamond. And we can enchant those too. But we need more levels to enchant this stuff. So let's throw that in here until... We, um, actually, we're to bring that with us. Throw that in there until we have 30 levels to enchant with something good. The rest of the stuff can go away, so let's bring it downstairs. Is it dark yet to see the night? Nope. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with all this stuff. Okay, so I wanted to go into the nether, and I'll show you why here in a moment. I want to try to get our levels up so that we can, um, is that glass? Yes, it is. I want to try to get our levels up so that we can um, get looting on the sword and um, fortune on the pickaxe. I'm just looking around at how easy this is to see now that we have different shaders. Look at this. You can actually see everything now, which is good and bad. I mean, it's so beautiful shaders, but it's so difficult. So let's see, where's the end portal on this thing again? I can't remember. It's over here. Oh, hey, how do you... Okay, am I going to get you or am I going to die like last time? Almost. Remember last time you guys got me down to one? There we go. Oh, we got to get pretty close. How many is it going to take? What? Now you guys can still hurt me, right? I want your magma cubes anyway. Oh my gosh, how close do you have to get to these guys? There we go. I think the little ones can hurt you too when they're like this. Oh, shoot. Is he getting me? Did I get him? I think he's attacking me. Run. Run. I did not mean to get the pigmen. Oh boy, this isn't good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Are they all going to attack me now? Oh. Did he time out? Oh man, I really wanted I really wanted to get those things. Um Maybe he timed out. 
if I can I do this or is it gonna they all gonna attack me oh man got him but the question is are the rest of them gonna get me too you know what I mean This is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna handle this. Alrighty. We're gonna throw all of our good stuff, including that, in here. Actually, put everything here. But I don't wanna lose any of this stuff. Um, and if they don't get me, they will come back. If they do get me, we should be okay. Okay. Are they gonna come get me? Or do they time out? Because I know there's a cooldown period. I shouldn't have brought all my food with. Is he mad? No, because they would be running if they were mad, right? Nope, he's mad. So how do I get them to stop being mad at me? How do I get them to stop being mad at me? <laughs> oh man. Hey. Hey. Why can't I... Why can't I shoot my boat? What? Oh! I know why I can't fire my bow. You all saw that, didn't ya? My one and only arrow. That's why. Alright, can I go out here yet? Is the timeout on these things so I can so that I can actually play the game? Oh, I didn't get any of the Migma cubes, they despawned on me. I want some more pigment so I can see if I'm safe or not. Okay, I am safe. So I'm gonna get this guy because I really want his magma cubes. There's a ghast after me. Ah, uh, I just don't do well with these, do I? I just don't get where their hitbox is. Okay, now we got these guys to worry about. Oh, I didn't get any magma cubes out of them. What? Oh man, I definitely have to get that looting enchantment. Not a single magma cube. You've got to be kidding me. Well, at least I know we're safe from the zombies. I think. Yep. So let's get our stuff back in our inventory and go get those endermen and build up some levels. Whoa. What happened in here? Okay, I'm glad he didn't make them mad. Jeez Louise. That would have been really bad. Yeah, I hear all you crazy creeps. Let's get you ready. What's that? Get you ready. Yeah, we're kind of having a little change of plan here. I forgot to grab a pumpkin head. But while we're here, let's look at what it looks like when it's dark. See, even when it's dark, you can still see now. You can still see what's going on. Remember, with other shaders, when it's pitch black, you can't even see anything at all outside. It's very dangerous. So anyway, we're going to run with these shaders for a while and get used to it. And um, where's my pumpkin head? What? 
Well, I have plenty of pumpkins, I think. Yeah, so we'll just bring that one with us. All right, to the nether and then to the end we go. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of a detour here on the way then portal because I found some things I'm looking for. Looks like some soul sand outside of, a, or that isn't in a fortress. Let me just take this potion. What is that? Well, that's the blaze farm. Now I can just go right across this now, right? I think so. Yep. Nice. Alrighty. Now I don't want to whack that guy by mistake. Alright. Can you move, please? I don't want to whack you like I did your buddy. I'm just going to take some soul sand. Don't mind me. And then I want to take some of this, too. Whoa. 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 Very efficient. Oh, wait, I can step on that, can I? Because I have fire resistance. For how long? Gotta hide the book. 715. Way more than I need it for, because I'm going to the end portal in a moment. I just wanted to get some stuff since I'm here. Whoa. I love how fast that goes. I'm not going to get glowstone yet. I assume... Wait, what's this? I think this is the slime farm. Yep. I assume that we're safe once we get to the stronghold here. I don't remember it being a danger when we were there to fight the dragon, so it should be okay. This is not the end portal. This is a slime farm. Oh man. Where's this gonna send me now? I hope back it's in the same place on the nether. Okay, well... Whoa, where's this? Um... Great. Now I'm lost. Well, I guess we're not going to the end, to the Enderman farm, to get our levels, because there's a serious problem here with the way the portals are. So, I guess, um, we'll just have to deal with that. So, change the plans. Again. Ooh, look at all that nice glowstone. You know I want glowstone for my projects. The question is, I don't want to ruin anybody's day by taking it if they're going to rely on it for lighting or something. You know what I mean? But I do want to get some. Some time. See, with all shaders, it doesn't matter. With shaders... All that glowstone lights everything up and it's like super important with the other shaders because um, it lights the way. But without those shaders, it doesn't really seem to be that big of a deal. So I'm going to get some. My brought still touch with me, yeah. As long as gas don't spawn. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go around. Might as well make the best of our trip to the nether since we can't do what we were going to do. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. If I would have known I'd be doing this, it would have brought more fire potion with me. I still can't believe I got no... Oh, I don't want to use soak touch yet. Or use this, waste this thing. I still can't believe I didn't get any magma cream from any of those magma cube things all right let's go up here and take this because i don't think anybody's going to care if i take it from here oh crap oh no you're mine come back okay fine i have an idea i can block myself in, but then I won't see them. Go! Hey! What? That's not fair. Alright, let's go as fast as we can. You stay this time. Oh. Come down. Oh, knock it off! What is going on? Come down, please. Come down.
Okay, this is ridiculous. Come back one more time. There we go. Let's get stuff ready here for defenses. And collect everything. Nice. There we go. I'm gonna get 60. Almost a stack. That isn't all that I need. I'm gonna need more. That's a good start anyway. Um Let's see. Is there any more I can get that won't destroy the landscape like I was saying? I don't think it's going to destroy anybody's landscape. Let's hop over here to this one. Where'd you go now? I hear ya. Where are ya? All these kitty cats meowing at me. So I call them nether cats. Man, this isn't scary at all when you don't have shaders on. Huh. Nice. Okay, remember running through this with my regular shaders going to the mason back, how scary it was? No problem here. Alrighty. Well, this brings us back to the nether hub, safe and sound. Let's, um, let's go back up top and see what we've got. See, it's night outside. Yeah, we can see everything. I don't think anything is spawnable except in the garden. There's something that's spawnable, but... Um, but yeah, see, look. We can see everything. Skeleton in that depression. See that? We can see everything. But if you look back on the other videos with the other shaders, you can't see anything. So we are good. We are safe. Ooh, our stuff has almost grown. Let's um let's go through inventory. Anything up there? And see what we got from our little nether raid here. Alright, as far as another rack goes, we got well I guess we used a lot of it. Um another rack. What was I gonna do with my glowstone? There's my quartz. I guess glowstone can go here for now. Like that. Still not enough to light up everything I wanted to light up, but it should be enough to light up a bunch. I'm going to plant another wart now. Um, maybe we should use some of that for another wart. We can put in some glowstone. That's going away. Let's just go back up top. Alright, well I'm going to come down here and sleep quick in my little secret bed. And um, we'll get some another wart planted. And some glowstone put in. How about that? Hello, that's how you survived. Oh, hey, you got some stuff I want. Thank you. One more thing we can do while we're here, because we're here, is we can plant our another wart. So I just need to decide then how to do this. So of course, if we put the magma cubes down, or block, make the cube are the monster, make the block is a block. If I put the magma down, we can't run into it, we'll get hurt. So do we want it all like this? Maybe like this, and then we just put these on the edges. And those are not a pretty looking brick, are they? Maybe. Or should we just keep it like that? Can I walk on it? Oh, nope. <laughs> Cannot. Um, you know, I kind of like it like that. Then as far as the nether wart goes, we only have two. So we'll put those two and let them grow, spread them out, let them grow. I think we'll go like that. Oh yeah, I wanted to also take off some of these so that we can finish planting the rest of them so that we have 12 per stump. Alright. 
need? Do we need any more? Are we all covered. Oh, we're good. We even have one extra. Nice. Well, there you go. Um, let's see. Let me think if there's anything else we can do while we're right here messing around. All right, well, we got a lot of odds and ends done today. Um, we finally got another wart planted. Finally. That's not very pretty, is it? Anyway, we played with shaders, and we got to see them day and night. I like these. It lets the trees and the grass wave. Um, there are our vegetables. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, everything's waving. How nice. But um, that'll do for today. Kind of a hodgepodge of episodes, or hodgepodge of ideas. Ooh, is somebody playing, or did they increase the chunks? Hmm, normally that's not loaded. That's awesome. All right, anyway... Kind of odds and ends day today. We got some things done. We didn't do some things you were going to do, but that is okay. Thank you for joining me, and until then, whoa, I will catch you on the next one.